YouTube Electric Avengers here with another package in the mail. Now, truth be told, it's been sitting there for a little while because uh, amazingly when I was sick all these packages showed up that I wasn't expecting at the particular time. Um, this one took a little longer to come across otherwise I would have made it over uh, before I got sick. Um, and uh, it's another lot of homebrew cartridges. Now um, these are from uh, the other producer of homebrew cartridges for the Coleco called Pixel Boy. Um, he does a lot of um, conversions from other um, other systems like the um, Sega SG1000 and the MSX. Um, all, you know, it's in this lovely big box. It's not. They're all individually wrapped, and we've um, so individually wrapped in, in bubble wrap, and with spaces in between. So. Care's been taken into making sure they arrive in pristine condition. So our first title is, and it's from the SG1000 uh, version, is Wonder Boy. Um, and the Pixel Boy boxes are particularly nice and colourful. There's the screenshot on the back. So I put my fingers over the writing. It looks pretty good. So this is this um, works in a base Coleco, doesn't require the Super Game module expansion. Then we have the cartridge, so we have a, an Activision style cartridge and a really nice colourful label. Um, and we'll get the menu out carefully. And just to show you the um, attention to detail and the quality in these. So you know, it is like buying a new game. And granted, uh, so this is Pixel Boy usually does a release at Christmas time, every Christmas time. Um, and these are some of the games that I couldn't afford uh, last time. Um, and um, finally had a you know hole in my schedule there where I could get them. And of course, you know, all the way from Canada, it took a little while to arrive. So that's the first one, Wonder Boy. Um, and next one, I don't know a lot about this one. Get it open carefully. So this one is Mopi Ranger, or Mopi Ranger, how we pronounce it. So it's an MSX game, so I've never played the MSX version. I do vaguely remember it. From back in the day, sorry, my light's gone funny. Um, looks like a bit of a maze dodge game that can always be good. So have a look at the um, the sides there. So this will this just works in a base in a, uh, base Coleco once again. Be very careful with the boxes. So we've got the Activision style cartridge, which are actually a very nice cartridge shell. Bring it into focus. Sorry, my light keeps on changing today. Our weather's a bit fickle. Had it in focus there for a second. Um, let's very carefully take the manual out. I'll just show you the cover. So, once again, so really good quality stuff. So, our next title. It's probably the first, I'll put the box down so I'm not leveraging too much here. Um, and next title requires the Super Game module. So these are, so there's only been four games released so far that support the Super Game module. And I've already got two of them. Um, so um, it's King's Valley and the uh, Super Zaxxon. So this is the next one, this is a Thexter. And this is ported from MSX. Um, I don't know. I've never played the original Thexter on on MSX, but it looks quite interesting. Looks like a bit of a shoot 'em up. Maybe. Um, I, I think you transform between a robot and a spaceship. Um, and as you can see, super game module required, uh, of which. You know, the first batch of those sold out completely, so 
you know, there's at least 200 super game modules out there. Right, we have a, a clear cartridge in the more normal state. And that gives you a bit of a look at the um, circuit board. So it's a taller circuit board on this one. Just got the one. It's got, it actually has two chips on there. Interesting. Let's fix it. Let's have a look at the front of the manual. Oh, okay. I didn't know it came with overlays. <laughs> there we go. So this one even has overlays. Or overlay. So there we go. That slips into the Coleco controller. Um, transform. So you could transform, pause, and auto destruct in the middle there. That's cool. I didn't realise that one came with. Um, just put that back in again. Came with overlays. So there's a bonus. Uh, I, I don't think I've got many uh, uh, Coleco overlays at all. My um, in television. A lot of my television games. I've managed to get the overlays. But my Coleco games is pretty much bereft of them. Now, this particular game is um, not converted from the MSX or that. It's actually from the Atom. Now, the Atom was the computer add-on to the Coleco, and it also expanded the memory of the um, of the basic Coleco. So, with the Super Game module, you end up with the same amount of memory. So, they've done a car cartridge conversion. So, this would have come out on the high-speed cassette tape that was a drive that was available for the Atom. And it's Dragon's Lair. And it's um quite a detailed game that tries to, you know, as, as much as possible with the limited graphics, simulate the action in the arcade game. Um, now I believe there is an MSX version that works with a Laserdisc player uh, that may actually, I don't know how similar it is to this one, um, but from what I read it may actually have more of the game in it because it loads the game off the laser disc. Now we've got the clear cartridge again, really nice label. Um, so actually, so I was just thinking maybe these ones are extra size. It doesn't actually say how much, how many K cartridge they are. Because you'd think, you know, Dragon's Lair, a particularly large game with lots of graphics in it. So there's the manual. Um, but once again, really good quality stuff. Um, and the best way we can have a look at those is to go and give them all a good thorough play. So let's go do that now. Right, with that nice Sega logo there, we have Wonder Boy. Um, let's see how we go. So, our music. So, having played the um, MSX one, this is, oh, I haven't actually played the, uh, oops, the Sega one before. Okay, you can jump on top of those. A little bit different playing with this controller. It's got quite good animated characters. So the idea is you collect the fruit, oops, and obviously dodge the creatures. And you've only got a certain amount of time, that you've got the time of me. Throw a few hammers, so that's good. It's a matter of timing your jumps and spiders, I suppose. 
Yeah, it's quite a different version of the game. It's a little hard when the creatures just pop up like that. Whoa! I've got the fire here. We can go. Okay, this is. Oh, it gives us more time. Whoops, I oh, pressed the wrong button. Where, where does that knock us back to? Probably all the way back to the start, does it? I oh, don't very much like what we've just done. Oops. Ah, I died. Um, and you see you have this meter on the left hand side which is showing some of the items I suppose you've got to collect. Um, it's actually, I'm just, yeah, a little bit different to the MSX version. Um, I did play, I have got the MSX version on a um, little B card recently so look back in some of my recent videos if you want to see it in comparison. And I have to give that one a bit more of a play at a later stage and work it out a bit more because it is quite different than the one I was um, used to. Let's try the next game. Okay, so the next one's a Konami one, a Moppy Ranger. Nice little intro. I reckon this one will be pretty good, so... Don't know, don't know how to play the game though, so... On the, on the red lilo or something. Can't seem to pick those up. Right, we need to collect those. So it's a bit of a maze game. But you've got to figure out how to get to each of the stranded mice. Quite good animations on the characters. And you can see the water is flowing in different directions. It's actually pulling my character slowly that way too. Yeah. Ah, but if you kill one... Oh dear, what have I done? <laughs> I think I've got myself stuck. Oh, you can push them. Right. Thank God for that. Mm -mm. Yeah, well, I quite like this game. This is actually quite good. You know, nothing wrong with a good maze game. Now, our bonus is ticking away there. There we go, we've got them all. And the animations are quite good. See what the second zone's like. Okay. A bit more of a maze. I wonder what that thing is. Let's go and see. Not good for us. Okay. Don't touch that. Well, it's got quite good music too, so very well done to um, capture the, uh, you know, converting music from MSX to the, um, Coleco is not that easy because of the different sound chips. Oh, 
Ah, I went around the corner and didn't mean it. You, you've got to watch the currents, they pull you. I might go try and get this one first. Right, and that trapped that one. Ah, oh, great. Definitely got to think about, you know, what you, um, where you put some things, or you can get yourself very, very trapped. smart with their uh, maze logic they use. Okay, now we've got to get those ones in the middle. Okay, well if they go into that one they die, which is interesting. Okay, one more. There we go. There we go, even I can complete two levels, so... Alright, we'll just see what the um, Zone 3 layout looks like. It looks pretty cool, and so that's a pretty good one. So let's move on to the next one. Next we have Sexta. So, game arts converted by Team Pixel Boy. So we've got a shield, anything like that. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're this dude, we can shoot a laser. Go up in the air, you um. Oops. Uh, not really used to the controls, and there we go. Transform. doing a very good job of showing this game in its best light at all. Alright, probably that bit at least. Transform. E, there we go. So some things take a lot to kill. Shooting those actually increased our shield for some reason. Let's go down here. Yeah, see that increased our shield. So we're in an open area now. Let's turn it into a... Whoa! It's getting used to the controls. It's nice having a nice zappy laser though. So we'll just gonna fly. Some more shield back. You can jump a fair way. Right, we need to change it to a ship. No. Oops, and they got me. Ah, so there's a lot to this game. Um, obviously, I'm absolutely rubbish at it. Um, lots of enemies and things like that. And, you know, a bit of a thing where you've got to choose when to transform between the robot and ship. 
Um, might help if I read the instructions a little bit, I think, but I can probably work that out and maybe get a little bit further. Haven't played the MSX game with that one, but it looks pretty good. Alright, let's try the next game. Okay, now we have Dragon's Lair. So this game, you know, has been on the Coleco on the bus, but you had to have an Atom to play it, and it would have been loaded off the high-speed tape. Once again, I don't know. Now, it's all about sequences, and I'm not going to know the sequences, so let's see. We'll go skill one. Got quite good music. Right, so what do we do? Uh, okay. I pressed the wrong way. <laughs> this is the death sequence, which I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of in this video. Oh, we'll just see how far I can get, okay? Can't move to the music finishes. No, and I might be pressing the wrong button there. So we have to go through the whole disc sequence again. Sorry, folks. On a score of zero. Oh, it's oh, you die twice. It makes you keep you go through. Okay. Oops, too slow. at least because we died, we get to see another scene. So considering how complex the original Dragons they game, they've done pretty good. Okay, so you can only move when... Oh, oh maybe I'm supposed to hit that with my sword. It's working out what you've got to do when is the thing. Now yeah, I'll probably move us on to the next stage now. <laughs> so this is probably the worst demonstration of Dragon Lair. Uh, replay same game. Okay, start. No. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, now we need to stay on the platform. come at different directions. So it's um, giving us different challenges and at some stage obviously we'll have a chance to jump off. No, nope, too slow. <laughs> Be prepared to see me turning into a skeleton a lot. Well, at least we got some points this time. Okay. Ah! Right. I keep on pressing the wrong button, I'm sorry. Now, we've seen the falling bit. I'm probably going to miss the platform down the bottom anyway until I get more practice, so we're into the next bit. Let's see if we can work out the sequence we need to do. So it's up. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, and then we need to leap. Right. This, is, this sort of game seems to be crazy. But it's fun nonetheless. You know, you have to at least try and finish it, don't you? Okay, jump. Another slash. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I need to read up on which button does what when because I'm getting them mixed up all the time. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I've wanted to have that one for quite some time. Only available on the SGM, or unless you've got lucky enough to have an original Atom with the original tape, which are rare as. So it's really nice to be able to experience these games again. So there are only four games for the SGM so far. Um, unfortunately, no sign of the um, enhanced Donkey Kong, but it all can't happen one day. 
Um, I am actually, uh, my next two games that will come out for the Coleco will require the Super Game module, so I'm making them extra special and, um, uh, you know, very good conversions and nice and fast. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed these gameplays. Homebrew is great. Uh, the very fact that you can buy brand new games for consoles, uh, you know, 8-bit consoles and, uh, and others nowadays is fantastic. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than, you know, buying second-hand games, but, you know, you're getting a new game, and they're not too bad, so, and I enjoy getting them. So, hope you've enjoyed these. Thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.